Book technique is a term that encompasses everything you do with the book, from opening and closing it to the way you handle it in the simplest ways. And it is one of the most important aspects of your performance that you shouldn't take for granted. Each person and each piece demands a different style of book technique. This is an area that does not have any hard, fast rules. So I'll give you two overarching principles, a brief lesson on opening and closing the book, and some do's and don'ts when it comes to how to handle the book. One main principle of book technique is that everything you do with the book should direct the audience back to the text. Your ability with the book is only impressive as long as it complements the story you are telling. Be intentional and avoid distracting behaviors. The way you handle the book should reflect the tone of your piece. If you have a piece that is serious in nature, you should handle the book gently and with gravity. If you are doing a more comic piece, feel free to be more engaging and move the book around. Use it as a prop. The tone you want to set with the piece should dictate how you handle the book. The other main principle for handling the book is that whatever you do, you need to feel comfortable. If you've never used a black book in a speech like this, getting comfortable with it will be like wearing glasses for the first time. It will be weird at first, but after a while, it will become part of you, and you will barely notice that it's even there. It just takes practice. When it comes to opening the book, you can start by holding it in a diamond or a square, whichever you're most comfortable with, just not too high or too low. I prefer a diamond. When you're ready to open the book, look at your audience, present the book, and open it with a pop. It's certainly not a requirement to do it exactly like I've demonstrated, but it's a stylistic choice that you will have to make. Other variations of opening the book look like this. When your presentation is over, there are two ways I suggest closing the book. If you can, slide your thumb and left hand slightly up the side of the book and use both hands to close the book together. Or you can reach your right hand across the book and close it this way, almost mirroring the way you opened it. These are the two most common ways to close the book. Now let's talk through some do's and don'ts. At each one, I'll explain my reasoning for that practice highlighting the principles behind it. Always hold the book at a comfortable place against your torso between your breastbone and your waist. I know that sounds really specific, but you'll notice that if you hold it anywhere else, it'll look awkward. You can either hold it in front of you or to the side, whichever is most appropriate for the piece. Not like this. Make the effort to present the book before you start. There are many ways to do this, and it really doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you are comfortable and it's smooth. Presenting the book helps remind the audience that you are aware of it, and it can demonstrate that you are in control, even before your speech starts. Hide the inside of the book from the audience. When you expose the inside of the book, it breaks the illusion of you as a performer. Although your audience knows the words are there, you want to be in control of them. You want to be the embodiment of the text. And frankly, seeing the inside of the book can look a little tacky. Look at the page when you turn it. This is not a hard, fast rule, but generally, when you turn the page, you should look at it. If you're doing a program that goes back and forth between multiple pieces or have multiple scenes, I highly recommend looking at the page each time, signifying a shift in the piece. When opening the book, don't let it flop. You should use your free hand to open the page all the way. Almost any other way of doing it looks sloppy. It all goes back to maintaining control. Don't be late. When the book opens, the piece has begun. Don't wait to start talking. As soon as that book is cracked open, you should either be talking or in character. Otherwise, your start looks sluggish and you look unprepared. 
Don't hold the book flat. You want to have a good V shape. This helps in many ways, including balancing the book, looking in control, and hiding the insides of the book from the audience. Don't gesture too much with the book in your hand. Some movement of the book is fine as long as it's smooth and you can maintain control. But generally, it's safer to keep the book relatively still unless you are specifically doing something with it. Don't feel obligated to use the book as a prop. The book should only be used as a prop when it adds something to the piece besides a special effect. If your character is doing something with both hands, like playing video games, then it's appropriate to use the book as a controller. If they're pouring a cup of coffee, there's no need for the book to switch hands and for you to use it as a coffee pot. Gimmicks like that are often more likely distracting than helpful. Don't slam the book shut, especially with just one hand. Reverse the process of opening the book and close it with style and fluidity. Otherwise, it's jarring and does not leave us with resolution. Use the closing of the book to provide closure, not just to end the piece. So, let's summarize and review the main principles of book technique. Everything should direct your audience back to the text. The book is just another part of the presentation that you can use to make your story come alive and impact the audience. Be comfortable. Practice enough that you are in control of the book at all times. Avoid distracting gimmicks. Don't try too hard to be cool and creative if the piece doesn't need it. You will only create distractions. And as with everything you do in any speech, be intentional. Every decision you make about how to handle the book should be for the specific purpose of telling your story in a way that will have the most impact on your audience. Book technique is tricky, and it's a learned skill. Mastering the book takes practice and attention to detail. Keep the principles I've discussed here in mind and apply them to every decision you make. Be confident and maintain control, and you'll have no trouble at all using the book in your oral interpretation.